Grandigerite. Grandigerite is a rare mineral that is typically blue-green in color and is named after the French explorer Alfred Grandidier. It is a silicate mineral that belongs to the Epido group. Grandigerite is found in only a few locations in the world, with the most significant deposits being in southern Madagascar. It was first discovered in 1902 by the French naturalist and explorer Alfred Grandidier, after whom the mineral is named. Grandigerite is highly prized for its rarity and unique color. The mineral is often cut and polished into cabochons or other gemstone shapes, and it is also used as a decorative stone in jewelry. Due to its scarcity, grandigerite is also considered a valuable collector's item. However, grandigerite is not only valuable for its rarity, but also for its exceptional hardness, durability, and high dispersion. Grandigerite is found in metamorphic rocks, often associated with other rare minerals such as sapphirine and cornerupine. It is typically found in association with gneisses, schists, and pegmatites. The mineral is usually found as small crystals, and large, clean specimens are highly sought after. The largest known grandigerite crystal is about 4.5 cm in length. Painite. Painite is a very rare mineral that was first discovered in Myanmar, Burma, in the 1950s. It is a borate mineral. It is known for its unique orange-red color, which is caused by the presence of small amounts of chromium and vanadium. Painite is considered one of the rarest minerals in the world, with only a few hundred known specimens. Painite was first discovered by British mineralogist Arthur C. D. Payne in the 1950s in Myanmar. At the time, it was considered so rare that it was called the world's rarest mineral. Painite was not widely known until the mid-2000s, when more specimens were found in Myanmar. Since then, painite has become a highly sought-after mineral by collectors and gemstone enthusiasts. Painite is a relatively hard mineral, with a Mohs hardness of 7.5, and it can be found in a variety of forms, including as crystal clusters, single crystals, and small grains. The largest painite crystal found to date is approximately 3 cm long. The mineral is typically found in metamorphic rocks, such as marble and schist, and it is associated with other rare minerals such as ruby, sapphire, and spinel. Painite is typically cut and polished into cabochons or other gemstone shapes, and it is also used as a decorative stone in jewelry. Due to its rarity and unique color, painite is considered a valuable collector's item and a highly prized gemstone. Alexandrite Alexandrite is a rare mineral that belongs to the chrysoberyl family. It is known for its unique color-changing ability, appearing different colors in different lighting conditions, specifically green in natural light and red in incandescent light. The color change is due to the presence of small amounts of chromium in the mineral. Alexandrite was first discovered in Russia's Ural Mountains in the 1830s and was named in honor of Tsar Alexander II. Alexandrite is found in a few locations around the world, with the most significant deposits being in Russia, Brazil, and Sri Lanka. The mineral is relatively hard, with a Mohs hardness of 8.5, and it can be found in a variety of forms, including as crystal clusters, single crystals, and small grains. The largest alexandrite crystal found to date is approximately 2 cm long. Alexandrite is typically cut and polished into cabochons or other gemstone shapes, and it is also used as a decorative stone in jewelry. Due to its rarity, unique color changing ability, and durability, Alexandrite is considered a valuable collector's item and a highly prized gemstone. Alexandrite is also used for ornamental purposes and for the manufacture of high-end watches, telescopes, and microscopes. The value of an alexandrite is determined by its color change, clarity, size, and origin. Alexandrite of high quality can be quite valuable, with some stones selling for tens of thousands of dollars per carat. The most valuable alexandrite are those that are large, have a strong and distinct color change, and are free of inclusions. Taphite. Taphite is a rare mineral that is typically violet in color and is known for its unique crystal structure. It was first discovered in 1945 by a Dublin, Ireland-based gemologist named Richard Toff, who found it in a sample of mauve spinel that he purchased. The mineral was initially misidentified as spinel, but it was later determined to be a new mineral species. It is relatively hard, with a Mohs hardness of 8, and it can be found in a variety of forms, including as small crystals, grains, and inclusions in other minerals. The largest taphite crystal found to date is approximately 1 cm long. Taphite is found in a few locations around the world, with the most significant deposits being in Sri Lanka and Tanzania.
The mineral is typically found in alluvial gravels and in mica schist, and it is associated with other rare minerals such as spinel, sapphire, and garnet. Hafite is typically cut and polished into cabochons or other gemstone shapes, and it is also used as a decorative stone in jewelry. Due to its rarity, unique crystal structure, and color, taphite is considered a valuable collector's item and a highly prized gemstone. However, due to its scarcity, it is not often seen in jewelry and it is considered as an extremely rare mineral. The value of taphite is determined by its color, clarity, size, and origin. High-quality taphite specimens can be quite valuable, with some stones selling for thousands of dollars per carat, but it is not as expensive as other rare minerals. Black Opal Black opal is a type of opal that is characterized by its dark base color, usually black or dark gray, which allows the opal's play of color to stand out more prominently. It is considered one of the rarest and most valuable types of opal. Black opals are found primarily in Australia, specifically in the Lightning Ridge area in New South Wales. Black opal is composed of hydrated silica and is formed when water seeps into a crack or cavity in a rock and then slowly evaporates over time. This process results in the formation of a mineraloid that can exhibit a wide range of colors, known as the play of color. Black opal is prized for its unique play of color which can range from red, orange, yellow, green, blue and purple. The value of a black opal is determined by its body color, brightness, and pattern of the play of color, and its size. The darker the body color, the more valuable the opal. The most valuable black opals have a dark body color and a bright and vibrant play of color. Black opals that have a play of color in red are the most valuable and sought after, followed by green and blue play of color. Black opals are typically cut and polished into cabochons or other gemstone shapes, and it is also used as a decorative stone in jewelry. Due to its rarity and beauty, black opal is considered a valuable collector's item and a highly prized gemstone. It is considered as one of the most valuable gemstones on earth, with some specimens selling for tens of thousands of dollars per carat. Powdritite Powdritite is a rare mineral that is typically pink in color and is known for its unique crystal structure. It was first discovered in mont saint hilaire Quebec, Canada, in 1960, and was named after the Poudrette family who owned the quarry where it was first found. Powdritite is a boron silicate mineral. It is relatively soft, with a Mohs hardness of 4.5 and it can be found in small prismatic or tabular crystals. Powdritite is found in a few locations around the world, with the most significant deposits being in mont saint hilaire Quebec, Canada, and in Myanmar. It is typically found in granite pegmatites, and it is associated with other rare minerals such as tourmaline, beryl, and lapidolite. Powdritite is not typically used in jewelry because of its softness and rarity. However, it is considered a valuable collector's item due to its rarity and unique crystal structure. It's considered one of the rarest minerals in the world. The value of powdritite is determined by its color, clarity, size, and origin. High-quality powdritite specimens can be quite valuable, with some specimens selling for thousands of dollars per carat. However, due to its scarcity, it is not often seen in the market and is considered as an extremely rare mineral. Red Barrel Red Barrel, also known as Bixbite, is a rare mineral that is typically red in color and is known for its unique crystal structure. It is a member of the Barrel family. It was first discovered in 1904 in the Wawa Mountains of Utah, USA, and it is one of the rarest gemstones in the world. Red barrel is relatively hard, with a Mohs hardness of 7.5 to 8, and it can be found in small, prismatic or tabular crystals. It is typically found in rhyolite and granitic pegmatites. The largest red barrel crystal found to date is approximately half a centimeter long. Red barrel is typically cut and polished into cabochons or other gemstone shapes, and it is also used as a decorative stone in jewelry. Due to its rarity, unique color, and durability, red barrel is considered a valuable collector's item and a highly prized gemstone. The value of a red barrel is determined by its color, clarity, size, and origin. High-quality red barrel can be quite valuable, with some stones selling for tens of thousands of dollars per carat. Red barrel is found in a few locations around the world, with the most significant deposits being in the Wawa Mountains of Utah, USA, but it is also found in Mexico, and New Mexico, USA. It is associated with other rare minerals such as topaz, spotomony, and lapidolite. Tug tupid. Tug tupid is a rare mineral that is typically red in color and is known for its unique crystal structure. It was first discovered in the Ilimausak complex in Greenland in the 1930s. Tug tupid is typically found in alkaline intrusive rocks and it is associated with other rare minerals such as feldspar, 
Nephilim, and Lucite. The largest tug tupid crystal found to date is approximately 1 cm long. Tug tupid is not typically used in jewelry due to its softness and rarity. However, it is considered a valuable collector's item due to its rarity and unique crystal structure and color. The value of tug tupid is determined by its color, clarity, size, and origin. High quality tug tupid specimens can be quite valuable, with some specimens selling for thousands of dollars per carat. However, due to its scarcity, it is not often seen in the market and is considered as an extremely rare mineral. It is mostly found in Greenland and in a few places in Canada and Norway. Benitoite. Benitoite is a rare mineral that is typically deep blue in color and is known for its unique crystal structure. It was first discovered in 1907 in the San Benito River area of California, USA, and was named after the location where it was found. Benitoite is a barium titanium silicate mineral. It is relatively hard, with a Mohs hardness of 6.5, and it can be found in small, prismatic or tabular crystals. Benitoite is typically found in a specific type of rock called bluskist and it is associated with other rare minerals such as neptunite, yoaquinite and natrolite. The largest benitoite crystal found to date is approximately 1 cm long. Benitoite is typically cut and polished into cabochons or other gemstone shapes, and it is also used as a decorative stone in jewelry. Due to its rarity, unique crystal structure, and color, benitoite is considered a valuable collector's item and a highly prized gemstone. The value of a bonito white is determined by its color, clarity, size, and origin. High-quality bonito white specimens can be quite valuable, with some stones selling for thousands of dollars per carat. Bonito white is found in only a few locations around the world, with the most significant deposits being in the San Benito River area of California, USA. The most notable bonito white deposit is the Dallas Gem Mine, which was first discovered in 1907.